Our story for today is called The Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams Bianco, retold by Patricia A. Pingree. The Velveteen Rabbit One Christmas morning, a boy found a velveteen rabbit in his stocking. The boy liked to sleep with the rabbit. One night, the boy stretched out his arms and declared that the rabbit was real. The little boy was happy. He must be real, whatever that was. One evening, the rabbit was outside. He saw two strange creatures creep near him. They looked like rabbits, but they had legs and they moved. Come play with us, said one rabbit. He isn't a rabbit, the other said. He isn't real. I am too real, said the little rabbit, who began to cry. The little rabbit grew old and shabby, but the little boy still loved him very much. The boy suddenly got very sick. He was too ill to play. He stayed in bed with his rabbit. When the boy got better, he could sit up in bed. One day, he could go outside. What should I do with his old rabbit? Nana thought, it's old and shabby. I will get him a new toy. Nana threw the little rabbit outside. He was lonely. He thought of the boy and a tear trickled down his cheek. Where the tear fell, a flower grew. A fairy stepped out of the flower. I am the nursery magic fairy, she said. I turn well-loved toys into real. Wasn't I real before? asked the rabbit. You were real to the boy, the fairy said. Now you shall be real to everyone. She picked up the little rabbit and flew to the woods. The fairy put the rabbit down on the soft grass. Run and play, little rabbit, she said. I have legs, said the rabbit. I am real. One day, the boy saw a brown rabbit playing in the yard. You look just like my old bunny that was lost, the boy said. It was the rabbit. He had come to see the boy who had loved him enough to make him real. The End I hope you like her story for tonight, The Velveteen Rabbit. Goodbye.